Hello, my name is Simon. I'm a data scientist at Arinti and today I will uh, give a brief tutorial on how to upload documents manually to um, Azure Cognitive Search. For the purposes of this demonstration, I made a toy data set um, with the use case of, uh, you could imagine, we want to make an app where you can register animals that you saw in the wild. Um, you want to register their location and even add tags to um, to your uh, registration, that way you can later, other people in the app can uh, search for the tags that you uh, registered. So here's a little look at the data set. Um, every registration has an ID, um, it talks about a specific animal, uh, the observer can give a description of the animal, it has a longitude and latitude, and then there's a different data set uh, where we uh, collected all the tags for the registrations. So people could, for example, um, input the color of the animal or the size. Um, first of all, we want to um, make the, ind the search index. So for that, uh, you can create um, the, you can make an instance of the search service on the Azure portal or via um, command line if you're, um, if you can do that. <laughs> Um, then um, on Azure portal you can find the endpoint and the key for your uh, search service. Um, you can find the, the so the endpoint you can find it here on the overview page of your search service and the keys can be found here in the settings menu. Um, so here the search index that I'm going to create is called animal registrations. Um, First of all, you want to specify all the fields um, of the records that you're going to store in your index. Um, going to make it a bit more readable. So here we have a simple field that contains the ID um, as a string value. Uh, I um, registered this as the actual key of the index, and um, yeah, it's set to sortable. Although this is not very much required. Um, I also store the name of the animal as a searchable field, that way you can later uh, search for the animal by name. Uh, I made the description searchable as well. Um, I made a simple field that contains the location, and um, in a minute I'm going to show you how you can create um, a geography point. Um, I made this sortable, so you can um, sort by distance to this point. And then um, we're going to add two the records of the registrations themselves, a list of tags. Um, so here I define that tag is a complex field that has a label and a value. And, but more than that, this is a collection of tags. So uh, the collection property is set to true. So uh, here I define how the search index is going to look like. I registered, I made the name earlier. Uh, I set the fields. I'm not going to configure any scoring profiles for now. And uh, course options, I'm going to be very um, open and allow every, everyone to access it. Yeah, let me run the cells first, I forgot. So now I'm, I collected the index client. registered the index. So by now you should be able to see your index on um, Azure portal. You go to um, overview indexes. As you can see mine is registered but I don't have any documents yet. So now we're going to upload our documents. Um, first of all we need to make our um, JSON array that contains our records. Um, for this I just uh, iterate over all the records in my uh, pandas data frame for the registrations and add to them the tags. Here specifically, um, this is something to take note of. Um, you can, if you want to use the distance and geography functions of Azure Search, you have to enter your location as a geography point. Uh, you can't just um, add like a column with a latitude and a column with longitude. So here I create a geography point using the GeoJSON uh, format, which looks like this. Uh, when this is done, 
Um, if you have your list of documents, uh, I'm going to show the output of the first record so you can see what it looks like. This isn't a very uh, optimized way of making the documents, but you only have to do this once, so not that important. Uh, so as you can see, first um, record in our documents uh, array looks like this. It has an ID, a name, description, has a location as a geojson point, and then it has a couple of tags like uh, color and size. Uh, now we're going to upload this uh, JSON array to the search client. This can be done in just a couple of, code, couple of lines of code. So we're uploading the documents. If you go back to the Azure portal now, you should be able to see, or maybe it'll update a couple of minutes. Um, okay, so uh, the, the document count didn't update yet, but it'll probably update in a couple of minutes. But as you can see, the uh, results can already be retrieved. Um, so now uh, just an example how you could use such an index. Let's say I want to uh, find all the animal registrations that uh, happened near Brussels. I collected the longitude and latitude of uh, the center of Brussels. And here I'm going to search for nothing in particular, just uh, return all the results. That can uh, it has to contain the results have to contain the uh, animal description, location, and text fields, uh, and I'm going to um, sort by uh, geo distance to this point in Brussels, and I only want to see the top ten results. So now, for example, um, if you want to see, you want to find um, all the animals or the top ten animals. Uh, in, that are closest to your location, let's say that you're in Brussels, um, then you can find them easily with this uh, search query. I hope you found this tutorial useful. Um, with your documents like this is if you want to use the Azure ser search functionalities, but you don't need any of the indexing uh, capabilities. Thanks for watching.